I want to tell you, please, 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 acquire good semi-automatic rifles now while you still can. Buy them in depth. Buy them for yourself, your wife, your children, your relatives, and your friends. Stock up now. The day is coming when you won't be able to own semi-automatic rifles. The media and the anti-gun crowd hate, hate, hate these rifles. And that means that you should love, love, love them. What your enemies hate, you should love. An AR-15, a Mini-14, an M1A or F and FAL is the same equivalent to the smoothbore musket that almost every American had in the late 1700s that we fought the British with. This is the, the, the same equivalent, okay? Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't have these things and don't be embarrassed by them. But you should know that having these things are a disadvantage socially, you should be aware of it sometimes, that you're gonna run into prejudice, you're gonna run into harsh words, you may even run into political oppression because of them. If you can possibly acquire large quantities of semi-automatic ammunition for your semi-automatic rifles, if you can get large quantities, you're gonna be glad someday. They're gonna be heirloom that you're gonna pass down to the next generations because the day is coming, my friends, when you're not gonna be able to buy ammunition for semi-automatic rifles. I can't say it enough, never an armed. An unloaded gun is what? A poorly balanced club. No ammo, your semi-auto is a poorly balanced club, okay? Hear me well, my friends in America. Now is the time to buy ammunition. Buy it wide, buy it deep, buy it huge. Right now, today, buy ammunition. States in the United States right now are already trying to restrict firearms by putting restrictions on ammunition. You can't buy this. You must register that. You can't ship this in by mail. They're already trying to choke the supply of ammunition for your precious semi-automatic rifles. Don't do it. Don't get caught flat-footed. Don't get caught with your pants down. Our forefathers want us the great country we have here in America because they had their own arms and ammunition. When the British threatened the supply of ammunition at Concord and Lexington, they were gonna to go to the state arsenal there and seize the powder stores. They said, uh-uh. If you know me, you'll see me when I don't like something or I'm gonna resist something, I shake my head and before I can say anything else, I go, uh-uh. If I say that, you know you just walked in into an immovable barrier. When someone, no one is going to take my ammunition away from me. Uh-uh.